Hello and welcome to Adding Fractions with Unlike Denominators and Word Problems. This is done Mrs. K's way. We are going to be with Mrs. K, myself, and we're going to be looking at a word problem where it's going to be asking us to add fractions. But this time the denominators are not the same, so here's what we're going to do. First, let's look at the problem. Lewis is looking for his old baseball card collection. He finds two-thirds in his closet and another one-sixth at his friend's house. How much of his baseball card collection did he find? The first thing that we need to do is find the representation of how many cards Lewis found in his closet. So I see here that he found two-thirds in his closet. So if I have a whole rectangle, I need to divide that into three separate sections. Out of that third, I know that he had two-thirds, so I'm going to shade two out of my three sections to represent my two-thirds. So two-thirds. Now, I really want to be able to add my one-sixth that he found at his friend's house. However, I only have three separate sections here, and I cannot just add a sixth to that since I don't know exactly how much that's going to be. So what I want to do is I want to start with my two-thirds, and I want to try to get it so that there is a common denominator. So I know, luckily, that if I wanted to be able to have my two-thirds be in the same terms as something of six, I can be able to have an equivalent fraction made. So if I want to create my equivalent fraction of two-thirds to some six, I know that by multiplying my denominator by 2, I can multiply 3 times 2 gives me 6. And my numerator, whatever I do to my, numerator, my denominator, I also want to do to my numerator. So I multiply 2 on top, and I get a final answer of 4 6. To confirm how this is in my diagram, what I need to do is instead of being chopped up into 3 pieces, I need to now chop up my piece into six different pieces. I still see that I still have one, two, three, four, six as it states right here. So I know that that is still representing or equivalent to two thirds. But now this allows me to add my one six. So if I add my one six, I can take and take one of these six right here and I can fill in that additional one. So now I know that I actually added 4, 6, plus 1, 6. And if I count it out, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I now was able to show it both with a diagram as well as with adding fractions using a common denominator. It's really important to make sure that in order to have a common denominator that you first need to find your equivalent fraction and then you're able to add accordingly. Thanks so much, so much for watching. This is Adding Fractions and Word Problems with Unlike Denominators with Mrs. K's Way. Thanks.